Hey everyone, I hope you guys had a great week. We were talking about sleep and awake and hopefully you haven't pressed that snooze button on the Lord. But um, I want to talk to you about something that's been on my heart for a really long time, forever frankly. But I'm just now going to address it with you guys and hopefully we can study and we can grow together as mishpacha, as family in the Lord. So what I want to talk to you all this week about is authority. I'm sure we've all had experiences in our lives where we've had, especially a religious leader, say something or do something that hurt our feelings or just wasn't right with the Lord. And, you know, I feel like we are really hard on religious leaders and we should be because they're examples. But at the same time, they're people too and they make mistakes. And as a leader myself, I can certainly admit to the mistakes that I've made and I try to be transparent with my congregation and I know that that's something that's difficult for religious leaders, especially leaders in general. Name the last time you had a politician admit that they did something wrong. It, it's rare. So I can always admire that and respect that. Um, but at the end of the day, we have to be people who are forgiving and loving and show forth the grace that God has given to us. And I think sometimes we have to be willing to communicate to our religious leaders when we felt maligned by something. Because I think we oftentimes don't really communicate that because we feel like maybe they're not going to receive loving correction. And it doesn't matter who you are as a leader, how far up you go or how down the food chain, so to speak, we can't be above reproach. And the Bible makes that super clear. We have to be people who are willing to hear correction and obey. Um, and so I'm going to talk to you a little bit about that uh, during the week. But I really wanted to address today on Saturate Sunday, um, really to pray for our leaders and to really be mindful that authority is not a bad thing. Hashem the Lord has brought forth authority because He knows that we need to have someone who is responsible. And everyone wants to say, oh, I want to be in charge, I want to be the leader. You know, a lot of people say that, but they don't want the responsibility that goes with it. And at the end of the day, those two are inseparable. They have to go together. So when God gives someone authority, He's also given them an immense responsibility. You know, and the Word says, to whom much is given, much is expected. And that is true of leaders of all kinds. And so while we are being held to a higher standard for not just what we do in life, just like what you do in life, but also for what we teach others to do. And that is a heavy weight and a heavy responsibility. And so I just wanted to say to you this week, as we are coming into this week, going to talk about authority. And hopefully God is going to bring some healing and some restoration to your life because I know some of those wounds do cut deep. But I really hope that God is going to illustrate to you how to be a person who is properly under authority. That is what God has commanded all of us, no matter who we are, no matter how high up we are as a leader or the head of a congregation, we still have to be under authority to the Messiah. So no matter who you are, understanding how to be under authority is going to be impactful and absolutely crucial to our relationship with God and with Yeshua. So we are going to go through some of that and unpack it this week. And hopefully God is going to speak to you uh, through these conversations. So let's pray together for our religious leaders, especially, um, and also for all the people who will ever watch this blog to understand how to be under religious authority and also how to let the burdens go and the bitterness go because God wants us to be people who understand authority because that reflects his kingdom and his kingship and his sovereignty over all of us. So Father God, in the name of Yeshua, I just ask you, Lord, that you would minister to the hearts right now in the name of Yeshua for people who've been wounded, for people who've been hurt, for people who've been maligned, for, you know, Words that are misspoken, Lord, um, and in the wrong spirit, Father God, I just ask you that you would bring forgiveness in the name of Yeshua for the, the leaders that maybe didn't do what is right in your sight, Father God. I ask that you would open their hearts and soften the leaders' hearts to apologize for the things that um, weren't right before you and that we would desire to be in right relationship with God and with men. So I ask you, Father God, for 
repairing and rebuilding relationships that have been broken or been maligned in some kind of way. And I ask you, Father God, that you would help to teach us of your will and of your way, how to be good servants of you, how to be submissive to you, how to understand authority by your Holy Spirit. I ask you, Lord, that you would give all the believers wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of your will and of your way, Lord, that you would infill us with your Holy Spirit, that we would be able to be mindful of all the things that you have for us, Lord that we would walk worthy of the calling with which we are called, Lord, that we would be able to pray for our leaders, that you would give us a burden and a heart for that, because as your word says, you know, when something happens to the shepherd, the sheep scatter. And so I just ask you, Lord, for all the shepherds and all the world of your whole body of Messiah, that you would encourage them, that you would uplift them, that you would help them to know that the work they're doing is not in vain, Lord that there is a reward, that there is a hope, that there is a future for them and for their congregations. I thank you, Father God, for just releasing your spirit of peace and your spirit of strength, Father God, for those who are feeling burnout, even right now in the name of Yeshua, for all the leaders who are feeling like they're just trudging in the snow and, and they don't feel like they're getting anywhere, Lord. I ask you that you would just open the eyes of their understanding, that you would make ways in the wilderness for them, Lord, that you would restore and renew their spirits so that they can talk to their congregations and lead their congregations with truth, with life, with peace, with kindness, with goodness, with understanding, Father God, in the name of Yeshua. I thank you, Lord, for teaching us all good ways of how to be good counselors um, to those who need counsel, Lord. It can be so hard sometimes being a leader and having to deal with the so many problems of our congregants, Lord. That sometimes we just, we can't leave that at the office and we take it home with us and because we love and we care for our sheep, Father God. But I just ask you, Lord, that we would be able to put all of our congregants in your hands, Lord. We would be able to leave them at the feet of Yeshua to know you will restore and renew things in due season, Father God. So I thank you, Father God, for the counsel of Yeshua in every manner, financially, spiritually, governmentally, for our congregations, that you would give the leaders your wisdom and your direction, both now and forevermore, Lord. That love would be the center of our hearts, not because we're super great at it, Lord, but because you are great in us, because your love is great. And we want to show forth that love to a lost and dying world. So I thank you, Lord, for allowing all the people in our congregations to understand proper, holy, biblical authority, to have a submissive spirit to you, Yeshua, and also to the leaders you have placed in authority over us, Father God. I thank you, Lord, for encouraging our faith and building us up, that we do not trust and hope in men, we trust and hope in you, Father God. But I thank you for the giftings and the callings of God are irrevocable. And for those who have a leadership gift, and for those who are pastors and elders over us, Lord, I thank you for the giftings that you have given to them, that they can be a blessing to the whole body of Messiah. In the name of Yeshua. Amen. Amen. So we're going to talk this coming week all about authority. Um, we're going to talk about how to be submissive to authority, even when you disagree, which is not easy. Uh, especially for women and for people in congregations when you have to submit and you don't necessarily understand. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about how to have a submissive spirit. We're going to talk about proper leadership and authority before God. And so I really hope that you are ministered this week in the name of Yeshua and that God speaks to your heart. So I trust that the Lord is going to do this as he has put this on my heart for so many years to have this conversation with the body of Messiah, things that he has taught me the easy way and the hard way. And so <laughs> I really hope that you will benefit from my experience and from the things that the Lord has spoken to me. So I will enjoy the entire rest of the week with you and have a wonderful Sunday.